Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Von Noodles, and look what we are playing today. It's Fate Farm! Let's check this game out, shall we? Look at this! Character creation! <laughs> There's a very big selection of uh, skin color here. I can be green. <gasps> I am the Hulk. Ooh, my cute little eyes. <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm an old lady. Dude. <laughs> What is up with this mouth? <laughs> oh my gosh, why am I laughing so much? <laughs> oh, it's because I'm laughing so much in real life. It must be it. Yeah, this character is totally me then. Because I just laugh all the freaking time. Ooh, to do a mustache or to not do a mustache. I kind of like it. Oh, look at me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No mustache. What am I, Ash Ketchum with this? <laughs> here, let me put it in the thing here. Look at me, I'm Ash Ketchum. Ooh, now I'm Naruto. <laughs> Ooh, I can choose different voices? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I can do all of these laughs. <laughs> That's so sultry. Oh. Okay, and these are men's voices. Oh my god, I love that one. <laughs> I think my character is complete. She is cute. Oh, walking along the beach one day, staring at the sand. A message in a bottle invited me to a faraway land the author described an island in need one like no other and a home for the brave it was written so kindly dude there's nothing written there <laughs> i set off for the adventure in my heart and the wind behind me the voyage was dangerous and my boat was shattered oh no that's not good i clung to the wreckage my sail in tatters suddenly the water is calm and then i saw it Ooh, welcome to Azoria. Look at me, I'm right there, talking to some lady. Uh, hi. Hello, Merit. Hi. Oh, you got a quest. My goodness, look at what the tie brought in. Are you okay? Your name is Chubby21, and you found a message in a bottle. Excellent news, I was the one who threw it into the ocean. I can't believe that worked. I'm Mary Merit. A pleasure to meet your soggy self. Oh, the house? Yes, it's still available, actually. You're the only one who has tried to make it to our island. It's a wonderful, magical place, filled with kind and cozy friends, but we're surrounded by whirlpools. And there's a blizzard that's been howling for what seems like years up in the mountains. And there's an active volcano. Oh my god, you got so many issues here. <laughs> Why did I come here? <laughs> and there's an active volcano that has been threatening to go off. There's also... <laughs> The wild magic that swept through and animated a bunch of junk, but we managed to shove them all into the mine. And don't even get me started on the shade and thorns. Girl, you got some issues here. Yep, Azoria is a real paradise. No, don't go. Well, you can't actually go because of the whirlpools, but I can sweeten the deal. I'll have my patented welcome package sent to your house. And look, a fun map that shows you where everyone and everything can be found. Go on and check out your new home. Um, thank you, Mayor Merritt. The message in a bottle was true. A lovely farm is waiting for you here. All you have to do is claim it. Okay. I promise you'll love it here. Uh, yeah, sure. Homestead is there. Let's track that. Let us go. So far, everything is cute. Like how I imagined. Oh, look at this cutie. What? What's your name? Ah, there you are. Oh, your name's Willow. A patient person who sells saplings. Oh, okay. Um, it's time to cast your line for white perch, river cod, and salmon. I just want to chat with you, bro, because I thought you were cute. Before you arrived, it had been a long time since we had a new face in Azoria. Oh, that was it. Okay. Ooh, what? That was exciting. What's this? <laughs> Discovered a clay pot. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, here is my home, y'all. Look at all this mail that I have to read. Uh... <laughs> Welcome to Azaria, dear future friend. Once upon a time, an island called Azaria glittered like a multicolored gem in the ocean. This island was home to many friendly and hardworking souls, but life had become difficult for them. Magical hardships had deprived them of their coziness and separated them from their friends and even their homes. But I, Mary Merit, know that someone like you can help us. Someone who wants to farm, explore, and have an adventure or two. <gasps> Lately, <laughs> even reaching our island requires a treacherous journey through turbulent seas, but a brave adventure can overcome any dangers. Will you join us in Azoria? Merit the Mare. Man, that was a mouthful. But... Thank you, Mayor, for sending me that very informative letter. I got a backpack. Ooh. Nothing in the backpack. Thank you. But I have a very nice bed. Oh, I have to return to Merit. Okay. Oh, she was just right out here. She was right outside our door. Hello there. Happy to have you around. Redeem quest. Yes. So what do you think of your new home? Welcome kit was pretty sweet, right? I knew you'd love it. Azoria is the perfect place to live, assuming you're okay with magical thorns and suspicious weather patterns. Why don't you try giving your home its own name? Give it that special chubby touch. Let's name it... Gro guys, uh, I can't name it Cherry Grove. In Stardew Valley, I could name it Cherry Grove. Because I had enough letters. Okay, well, I guess I can't go with Cherry Grove. Let's see. Let's put Blue Steel. I don't know why. I'm just going with it. Don't tell me what you named it. That's just between you and your farm. Oh, okay. Speaking of farm, this house comes with one right here. This is the farm. Yes, okay. It has seen better days and will require some elbow grease. But you survived a whirlpool, so it's nothing you can't handle. Besides, it shouldn't take too long to tidy up the place, not with your own set of brand new tools. What do you mean? This farm looks great. Like, nothing needs to be made or changed. Ooh, look at that. Look at my tools. Look how happy I am. <laughs> Just make sure to keep an eye on your energy. Oh, okay. With those beginner tools, you can get all kinds of things done, and you can upgrade them later at Cinder Smithy by the Clocks to tackle tougher jobs. Try clearing away rocks, logs, wild grass, and harvesting arugula from the land around your home. You can keep all the materials you can gather. Oh, so you want me to harvest plant fibers, pick up stone, pick up beech log, pick up arugula. What, for a salad? Okay, you heard the lady. Let's just go and do those things that she wants us to do for some reason. How does one start using the tools? Oh! So this is how you do it. This is how it's done. So far, so good. I like the animation. Okay, okay. So, I gotta pick up stone. How do I do that? Oh! Oh! So you guys, you just literally just walk up to the thing that you want to do and it will change the tool for you like i literally did not need to do anything i didn't need to switch anything and i don't actually pick up the stone i just hit it and then yeah you know i i obtained the stone i thought i had to pick up this stone you know what i'm saying okay pick up beach log And pick up arugula. Oh, this is the arugula. I see, I see. I literally thought these plants were weeds. There we go. Let's return to this old lady over here. Hello. Hello. Azoria is the better. Azoria is the better for having you. What? Is that English? <laughs> Nice job. Now that you've got some space cleared, how about I show you how to use it? In order to make something, you'll need to construct it yourself, but it's easy as falling down. See, you can build all kinds of things, indoors and outdoors, just gather the raw materials and then start construction. If you don't know what materials you need, just check your almanac. Told you about the almanac, right? It's like a guidebook to Azoria that you fill in. Isn't that fun? Back to construction. Let's start by trying to build a piece of cozy furniture indoors. You'll learn by doing. 
Okay, so, uh... Now that you have a house, you can decorate it however you like. Start with a simple but handy piece of furniture. A round woven stool. Craft and place a round woven stool inside of your home. Okay, let's go do that. Okay, how do we do this? Oh, oh, small and squishy spherical seating. Oh, this is how it's done. Okay. Oh, I like that. Oh, this game is so simple and so easy. Cottage construction redeemed. It's like you've been doing this your whole life, Chuby. Really, I'm impressed. Generally speaking, you can build decorative things inside or outside. How you set up your farm is up to you. Nice. Oh, and we've already built you a mailbox. Miles, the postman, will deliver your letters and packages first thing in the morning. So don't forget to check your mail. Oh, I know what you should build next. A cooking fire. Having a cooking fire on your farm is the easiest way to cook up a hot meal. You can always make fancier equipment later. There's all kinds of things you could cook on your cooking fire. I've seen some arugula around, but there's mussels on the beach too. Try building a cooking fire and cook some food on it. All right, so try making yourself a cooking fire and cooking yourself a yummy snack. It's best to have some food in your backpack before heading out. Let us cook something. Here we got the cooking fire. Where should we do it? Where should we place it? You know what? Let's just place it right here. Okay. Um, let's use this. Oh! I don't need to put like wood in it. Let's prepare all of it. <laughs> all of the arugula. Oh, so I have to eat food to replenish my uh, energy. I mean, usually that's how it goes in mini games. <laughs> but for some reason I was thinking, oh, maybe I have to fall asleep to regain majority of my energy back. But no, this is good. This is nice. Let me see what you've cooked, Chuby. Bravo! You see, with a cooking fire, you can roast and toast to your heart's content. Home-cooked food always tastes better, I say. Cooked food gives you more energy than raw and sells for more money at the market, too. Try using different raw ingredients to see how they can be transformed into tasty treats. Experiment, you know. Get jazzy with it. Oh, Merit, I will get Jesse with it. I know what you're thinking, Chuby. When is Merit going to teach me about farming? Yeah. When? Right now. <laughs> Let's get our hands dirty and play around with some seeds and soil beds. You know, I'm pretty sure I left some seeds and construction materials in your storage shed. You have a storage shed, by the way. Go get the materials in your storage shed. Then construct some of the soil beds on your farm and plant one seed in each. Okay, let's go do that. Soon you'll be enjoying fresh Azorian produce. You're going to be so self-sufficient, you can thank me later. Oh, I don't go inside. I actually just access it. I want everything here. I want everything in the shed. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Can I chop this? Oh, I can. I can chop this. Let's chop it. My first tree. Nice, nice, nice. I love how clean this is, you guys. And by clean, I just mean like, it's very fast. Like if you need something done, you can get it done in almost in an instant. And it's so fast. You don't have to switch tools like you normally have to in games like this. Farming games. Let us build a farming bed. Oh, these are tiny little things. Paint one here, paint one there, paint one there, paint one there. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so like if you plant it right next to each other, it just becomes bigger. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh crap, now it's uneven. Fuck, that's gonna bother me. Okay, well, I'm just gonna fix that later, I guess. <laughs> plant these turnips. Plant, plant. 
Oh, I need sand. Shoot. Sorry, I'm just like trying to find sand so I can fix that um, planter box <laughs> that I did that's not symmetrical and even. It's bothering me real bad. I need to find sand. It's hard. Oh, here's sand. Oh, who are you? Miles. Oh. I did a lot of jobs before I realized I was born to be a postman. I love getting work done while being outdoors. Miles, you're kind of cute. As long as you stick around Azoria, I'll be happy to deliver your letters. Oh, please do. Please do, Miles. I think you're adorable. All right, cool, guys. I got the sand. We can do this. We can finish building that planter box. Gardening box. Whatever you want to call it. Crisis averted. Another thing that I enjoy about this game is uh, how fast I'm running. It's pretty good. I like how fast I'm running. There we go. Now it doesn't bother me as much. As much. There we go, y'all. It is now even and symmetrical. <laughs> From humble beginnings, redeemed. <laughs> Wonderful job, Tubi. Soon your fields will be sprouting with ground-grown goodness. Say that three times fast. Yeah, no. That was really hard. <laughs> Just don't forget to water your seeds. They won't grow unless they're watered. Though it, if it rains, you can skip a day. I hope you keep tending to your fields. As farmers always say, don't leave them alone. What? Haha, <laughs> we have fun. You've done so much to improve your farm already. I bet you aren't even thinking about that harrowing journey across the ocean. No, not really. Oh, you should meet your neighbors. Word has probably already spread that you are here. You're, we're a bit of a small town, you see. You should go talk to Eddie, the mariner. He's probably near his home in Stale Wild Bay. He'll have a fishtail or two to share. Now that you know a little about Azorian life, you should get to know your fellow Azorians. Begin by hearing the fish tales of Eddie the Mariner. Okay, let's go find Eddie. What about me watering these things? Don't I have to water them? Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> yes, okay. Cool, cool, cool. My plants are watered. Now let us go see Eddie. Where is Eddie? Whoa, Eddie is way over there. Eddie! Eddie! Where are you? Can I pick this up? Oh, I can. It's a muscle. Oh! We'll cook these later. Guys, this game is so pretty. I love it. I can get lost in this game quite a bit. Oh, what's this? I'll find out later. Look at all of these things that I can sell. Eddie, there you are, my bro. -ho. Hello, landlubber. <laughs> now, which is the tastiest fish of all? Um, uh, I don't know. A catfish? I really like catfish in real life. Good to see you, Chuby. If no one's told you, I'm Eddie, Azoria's old mariner. I hear you've got a little farm going. I won't hold that against you, even though fishers and farmers have been at odds forever. Never mind that, you haven't lived until you fish. Believe me, give me the seas over the trees any day. How about old Eddie gives you a quick lesson in the art of the rod and reel? <laughs> yeah, give me the art of the rod. <laughs> Hot dog, I'm ready whenever you are, Jimmy. All right, go out there and catch a fish, any kind you like, salt or fresh water. I'll even give you my old rod. Ooh, okay, Eddie, may it serve you well. <laughs> Cool, just like that. I have a freaking fishing rod. Now hold out your rod and cast it so your bobber lands near the mouth of a fish. Then you reel it in a bit at a time. Not too fast. The hypnotic motion should encourage the fish to strike. Okay, why are you talking so sexual to me, Eddie? <laughs> when the fish has bitten, you get to reeling fast. Not all at once, though. If your line turns red, it's ready to break. Best stop for a moment until it turns white again. Keep it up. With a little luck, you'll reel in a prize. Go fishing and come tell me all about it. Okay. Let's go fishing. I see one right there. Let's test this out. Uh, oh, RB. Oh, I see. Oh, guys. This is so good. Oh. Um... That wasn't very good, though. <laughs> fish, come on! Get over here, fish. 
You're mine, fish. No, 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 no. You were so close. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Ooh, it was a salmon. Nice. I love salmon. Salmon is so good for you. Did you know that one pound of salmon is 85 grams of protein? At least when I looked it up on Google, that's what I got. <laughs> Gone fishing. Redeemed. Oh, you seem to have done well for yourself, Chuby. Tell me how the fishing went. Well done, my friend. You're on the way to becoming a marine master. Maybe you'll even leave the farm for the seas one day, like I did. Oh, were you a farmer, Eddie? I did not know. But enough of that. I've taught you all I can. I've seen you grow from a minnow to a sardine. <laughs> I think it's time you spoke with our local beekeeper. Ooh, a beekeeper can teach you about critter catching and you are going to want to pay attention to that. Cool. Okay, let's go meet this guy. Or girl, I don't know. Oh, Mel looks like a guy. Ooh, an iron fence. So I need to take a... I need to have a lookout for those scrolls that I randomly find on the ground because apparently they are recipes for furniture. Hello, Mel. Hi, I'm looking forward to planting my spring crops. Sugar peas, here we come. Friend to the critters, a new face. When I heard someone washed up on the shore, I could hardly believe it. These puns, bro. Chubie, eh? it's so nice to meet you. You must have a lucky clover in your boot to have made it past the whirlpools. I'm Mel. I hope everyone is treating you well. It's been so long since we've had someone new on the island. The bees have all been abuzz about it. You moved into the abandoned farm? Wonderful. Hey, since you're new here, let me show you how we catch bees and other critters here on Azoria. Azoria is a haven for critters, mostly because they outnumber us. Azorians by a wide margin. Now don't worry about how the critters feel about it. I've developed the most gentle, cozy critter net. It's like getting scooped up by a cloud. Here, I've always got an extra net just in case. Nice, Mel! Thank you! Equip your net and swing it to catch a critter. To improve your chances, ready your net and approach the critters. Da -da -da -da. Why don't you go take a couple swings and catch a few critters? Then come back and show me. I just know you're gonna catch the critter catching bug. Okay, you got it, sir. Let me go catch your bees here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe I'm not. Whoa, what's this? Oh. Was that energy? What's this? Oh, it's a clay brick path. Very nice. I'll use that later. I can't catch these bees. Okay, good to know. Oh, look at this. Not safe from me, Firefly. <laughs> What's this? Oh, I found a hay bale. Oh, what the hell? Okay, so this place is not safe. Ooh, a horizontal board fence. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. I'm just looking for bugs. Oh, dang it. There we go, there we go. So it looks like if I go up the mountain here, um, really big creepy thorns appear. Oh, look, a butterfly. Let me get this one. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Hello, Mel. Careful catching. Well, how did that feel? Nice, right? You can keep the net. You've got great technique. I can see you becoming an avid critter catcher. Remember, critters can leave you little gifts if you add them to a conservatory, but that's for later. The mayor said not to overwhelm you. You know, there are many critter collectors on this island. If you catch a critter, you could always sell it. There's always someone in Azoria who'd like to buy. You can sell just about anything, really, and then you'll earn florins. That's the local currency, if no one told you. Well, selling things is really... Pearl's specialty. She's the chairman of the Merchant's Guild. She's kind of a big deal around here. I'm sure she would love to tell you all about selling things. You can find her in the town center marketplace. It's been a real pleasure chatting with you, Chuby. Let's go meet the chairwoman. Yeah. Greetings. Good for you on coming to Azura. It must have been quite the journey. It was. I've been going back and forth all day. 
Hello, fellow entrepreneur. You must be Chuby. Fantastic to meet you. I'm Pearl, the head of the Merchant's Guild. You know, I bet you have a bunch of stuff in your pockets that you'd like to get rid of. Am I right? What if I told you you could turn that random junk into gold hard florins? It's true. You can sell that stuff for florins right here and now. Well, in the market and the money isn't deposited automatically. Try putting a few things on a marketplace table to sell them. Mara Merit will be so happy you're participating in Azoria's economy. Find her when you're done. Okay. Let's sell things, guys. Um, let's sell... What should I sell? Oh, these... Sh oh, wait. I like these muscles. Never mind. Give me back these muscles. <laughs> uh, I'll sell my bugs. There you go. Yep. Look at all my bugs glowing on the line. I think Merritt went home. It's kind of late. I don't blame her. Oh, there you are. Hello there. Azora's... Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> There we go. We're acquaintances now. Chapter 1 completed. Oh, there we go. Chapter 1's done. Nice. Chapter 2. A thorny problem. Let's read the mail here. Whoa, that is a lot of letters. Okay, so this is multiplayer. Interested in dyes. So here in this letter, it says that you can paint your furniture and clothes. This letter says, so you might have noticed some unusual magical things happening around Azoria. It isn't too serious, except it kind of is. <laughs> can you come over and talk, please? The wizard. Ooh, okay, so maybe we should talk to the wizard soon. Whoa, look at that. Butterfly, peacock butterfly. Nice. Guys, I'm just unlocking things left and right. This game is top notch. So far, I am loving this game. I can definitely get lost playing this for hours. It's basically Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley together. Okay, wizard. Hello. I wish more Azorians were into magic. Sometimes I talk way too much about it and their eyes glaze over. <laughs> Salutations, Chuby. My name is Ulrich, your humble wizard of Azoria. The mayor let us all pick our titles. She vetoed Mel's first title, which was Azoria's Honey Bear. Yes, of course. You're wondering why I mailed you. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Azoria has a lot of magic. Wild magic, to be specific. As in uncontrolled, possibly dangerous magic. And no, I don't mean to worry you. No, wait. I do. <laughs> because it's pretty dangerous. You fear nothing? Well, that's good to hear, but probably doesn't lend to good decision making. Okay, you're gonna judge me now? I know what I must do. I will build you a magical staff. Ooh, Ulrich, are you flirting with me? You can use it for protection and to harness some of the wild magic. That was my tummy. I've been so worked up that I have forgotten to eat. I haven't had a warm meal in days. Do you think you could make me some home cooked food? I've been eating raw mussels, and I think I'm about to turn into one. Dude, yes. Uh, oh, he wants mussels. Damn, I was gonna give you some spinach, bro. I was gonna give you cooked arugula. Whoa, hi. Hi, how are you, Drac? I'm so happy we can train together. Oh, we're training together? I didn't realize. Azoria is full of exciting things to do, but you don't have to do everything at once. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. You don't have to tell me that. Even though I do want to do everything at once. This game is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to cook some mussels. And then I'm going to cook the salmon. Dang, I can cook so many things at the same time. There is so much to do in this game. It's insane. Here, give, take this, take this. Nice. You're back. I smell food. I can feel the life returning to me. Can't wait to chow down. I'll spend tonight working in my alchemical. Al <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a tough time. Um, lab. Tomorrow morning, you'll have your very own magical staff. Oh, nice. Thank you. You shouldn't have, but I would love it. Now, I don't normally re recommend anyone work all night, but times are dire. Come meet me tomorrow over by the biggest patch of thorns. We'll test out the staff's toughness before we tackle anything magical. Dang, you're gonna make me wait. I guess I will see you tomorrow, Ulrich. I guess. I'm just gonna, you know, hang out, fish, do other things, look for these scrolls, I suppose. <laughs> Guys, look at all these things that I can just make. 
there's just so many things here. I can see so many of us doing so many creative things to our farms, to our house. I've seen your guys' islands on Animal Crossing, okay? They're insane. And look at all these skill perks that we can just level up. That is amazing. Wow. This game is just, there's just so much to it. I am just going to tend to my farm until it's the next day. And then we will see what Ulrich has to say for us. Beverage station? Oh yeah. Let's build this somewhere. Shoot, let's just build it here for now. <laughs> we don't have any items uh, to make beverages. Oof. Shoot. Well, I guess we will have to postpone beverage making, I guess. All right, let's end the day here so we can hurry up and get our magic stuff. Simple magic stuff, plus two. What? Why do I need two? Ah. Ulrich and I met where the thorns were the thickest. He presented me with the oddest magical staff I've ever witnessed. But looks can be deceiving. Oh, because the thorns began receding. The jumbles should be afraid of my new power. What are the jumbles? <laughs> Good natured Azorians need no longer cower. <laughs> nice! Okay, so I didn't have to go talk to him to get the magical staff. You know what's nice? When you're watering the plants, it'll just automatically put you where you need to water next. So you don't have to realign yourself to water the plant. Isn't that great? Oh my god, I love that. It's like they put every single annoying thing onto paper and fixed it and put it into this game. <laughs> All right, we redeemed opening the pass. Chapter two completed. Nice. Dang, we're just going through these chapters pretty freaking fast. Okay, guys, I think this is a good stopping point. I feel like I have covered quite a big amount of the game of what you can do and the general idea of what the heck is this game about. So far, I love it. You can bet that I will be playing more of this game. <laughs> no doubt about that. Let me know down in the comments below if you are interested in seeing more of me playing this game. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the whole shebang. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!